What if you stopped blinking? Let me walk you through what that might look like if you started right now. Your tear film is really thin. It's only about three microns thick. So that's like the width of a red blood cell. But that little layer is really important. You can see here, this tear layer is evaporating. You can see the little areas where it starts to evaporate first. We call this a tear breakup time. So within about this time, you've had little patches on the front of your eye that have started to evaporate. Air starts to touch the front surface of the eye. So at this point, the image is starting to look not quite right, a little bit less crisp, less clear. The cornea starts to become uncomfortable. At this point, the surface cells of your cornea start to dehydrate, and they start sending distress signals through the most sensitive nerve in your body. Your brain is gonna respond by sending all these reflex tears from the lacrimal glands. Very, they're really watery tears. Those watery tears flood the eye, but they don't have any oil in them because the oil is secreted when we blink our eyes. So those watery tears are going to evaporate and they're really gonna leave the eye probably more dry than if they hadn't teared up to begin with. We're gonna fast forward a little bit. So if we go five minutes in, the corneal epithelium or that outermost protective layer of the cornea starts to break down. Anything that brushes against it, air, anything mild, starts to be very irritating, very painful. Lights start to become very painful at this point. You're basically feeling what someone with severe dry disease feels, except you manage to get there in like five minutes. We're gonna fast forward again into about 30 minutes. At this point, the deeper layers of the cornea start to erode. The keratocytes and the stroma, which is kind of the big bulky middle area of the cornea, those begin to die. The cornea might look kind of glossy, but deep within it's eroding. The pain is very severe at this point and vision is very blurry. Let's fast forward again a couple hours. A couple hours in, the inflammation is so great that there are enzymes being released that are actually breaking down the collagen, keeping that cornea together. This is what doctors refer to as a corneal melt, and it sounds like a deli sandwich. But actually, it's when the cornea starts to kind of lose its structure. Tissue becomes soft and thin. At this point, the cornea is super fragile. If bacteria are introduced to the system, which is really easy to do because bacteria is all over our face, you're very likely to get a severe infection. So things were pretty severe here. Let's just fast forward for a full day. A full day of having the, the eyes open with no blinking. Uh, the cornea is going to be damaged to the point where there is scarring. Even at, after 24 hours, if you start to blink now, uh, the damage is already permanent. Uh, the cornea will have uh, found weak points, areas where there was damage. It will try to strengthen and, and make those uh, bonds a bit tougher for that exposure or that harsh, the harsh environment. And doing that means that they're going to be less uniform and therefore they're not going to be see-through anymore. But the good news is you still can blink. So don't worry about any of this. The blinking reflex is controlled deep in the midbrain and it's automatic. So you don't have to worry about uh, having this happen.